After watching this video, you should be able to figure out how to calculate or estimate the heart rate given the ECG, and we're going to consider if the heart rate is regular. So what you want to do is find two QRS complexes, and here's a review of the interval in between the two QRS complexes, and that's called the RR interval. And what we want to do is count the number of big boxes in the RR interval. And remember, the big box, the dimensions are the, by the dark grid lines, five small boxes, which makes up 0.2 seconds. So if we want to figure out heart rate, we have that one beat in between the QRS complexes, and we divide by the number of big boxes, which are worth 0.2 seconds. Now, since we want heart rate in beats per minute, we need to multiply by 60 seconds in a minute and now we see the seconds cancel out 60 divided by 0.2 that's a constant that's 300 and it's divided by the number of big boxes so we can make a little table here of the number of big boxes in between the QRS complexes and the heart rate in beats per minute so if we counted the RR interval as one big box 300 divided by 1 is 300 if the R interval was two big boxes, 300 divided by two is 150. Three big boxes is 100. Four big boxes would be 75. Five big boxes would be 60. Six big boxes would be 50. So if big boxes were more than seven, then we'd be less than 50 beats per minute. And you see this pattern, 300, 150, 100, 75, 60, and 50. Let's practice, and here's an ECG tracing, so I'm going to label the P wave, the QRS, the T, the P, QRS, and T, and then finally the P, QRS, and T. So remember, what we want is to figure out an RR interval, so let's take that QRS complex, and I labeled with pink lines the grid line so we can see, and we can see there's 300, 150, 175, in between these two QRS complexes. So the heart rate is a little faster than 75 beats per minute because the RR interval is just a little bit less than four big boxes. And that's good enough for what we're trying to do in, in terms of estimating the heart rate. If you wanted to get really specific, you could count the number of small boxes. And since we know they're worth 0.04, 60 divided by 0 0.04 is 1,500. So then you just take 1,500 and divide by the number of small boxes. We don't really typically need to do that. This method is perfectly adequate. Just another comment about determining heart rate. If the heart rate is irregular, this method is not going to be terribly accurate because the intervals between the QRS complexes are going to be varying. And so depending on which one you happen to look at, it could not be representative of the average heart rate. So if you want to figure out the average heart rate in that case, what you can do is you can count the number of cardiac cycles every six seconds and just multiply that by 10. Sometimes the ECG paper actually has some little grid lines that are marking every three seconds. So this is sometimes uh, not that difficult to do. But in general, when the heart rate's regular, this method of finding two QRS complexes on an ECG tracing and estimating the RR interval by counting the number of big boxes is generally gonna be good enough for determining heart rate in most patients. And that concludes this video on calculation of the heart rate from the ECG.